Good morning, everybody. We actually got enough things to do a yard sale haul this morning, and we only went to two sales. And the first sale we went to, we found going to the second sale. And it was very expensive, but we did manage to get a couple things that was reasonably priced. Got these two big buckets. They were $3 a piece, and I love the patina on them. I think they're really, really beautiful. And I don't know whether those were flower pails or whether those are sap buckets. Somebody told me that uh, the ones I got last week were sap buckets and uh, said I got a steal for a dollar. So these were three dollars, but they're really pretty. Then at that expensive sale, the other thing we got was this skeleton. He's ceramic. I've never seen a uh, you know, a ceramic skeleton before. And I thought he was cute. I did pay $4 from it. It had a partial seal on the bottom, tag on the bottom that came from Home Goods. So I'm sure he cost more than $4. Then the other thing from the expensive sale was this wonderful vintage pitcher. I'm pretty sure this is McCoy. I think I have one like it or similar, and I kind of remember looking it up, and I believe it is McCoy. If you all know any different, Please tell me, because I love getting information on things. So those were the only things we bought from the really expensive sale. It was in a big, beautiful old house, and it was wonderful to go in and see all the beautiful woodwork and all the um, gorgeous built-ins. But most of the things were out of my budget. Then the sale that we were going to, we did really get some wonderful things there. Look at this beautiful piece that she made out of two vintage corbels, and that is an old piece of ceiling tin in it. And she had hooks on it to hang things off of, and she's got two nice knobs. I'm going to leave the knobs, but I'm going to take the hooks off because I'll just use it like a wall piece, um, not hang things on it. And it was $7, but getting the old corbels and the old tin, I thought it was really worth it, and I just think it's gorgeous. Then before I show you all these wonderful tins, the thing John spotted was this wonderful old porch post. And at, someone's, at one time, someone had screwed a bowl on there, and then it got broke. So John will take that off, and he'll probably put a steadier base on it, and then I think we'll put a hook on it and use it to hang seasonal signs outside. So that was $10, and that was a steal, too, to get this wonderful old post. But the best buy we got today, y'all know we collect tins and have for many, many years. We got all these tins. She had them in a box, and I asked her, I said, Pam, how much are these tins? She said... Oh, a dollar a piece. So I looked at them and I said, I'll take them all. It has been forever since we've got, well, I'm not sure we ever bought this many tins at one time anywhere in our lifetime of collecting. But there are some really awesome ones. There's a large and a small Mavis talcum. That was Paris and New York. Got the palm olive aftershave. Got the Babcock talc, Coreopsis talc, and the old tins have wonderful gra graphics on them. And then the Three Flowers talcum, the Merrick Zinc Sterate toilet powder. It has the cute little ducks on the bottom. She told me this glass talcum powder and the label is just about gone but it's kind of an iridescent color she said she paid a hundred dollars for that i don't know you know if that's fact or what but it's really a beautiful bottle then here is the azuria that is new york new york the desire kiss talcum kirkoff that was made in New York, too, it says. 
got this amylin deodorant powder cashmere bouquet which we've all heard of there's another cashmere bouquet and there's a Williams talcum then Lamont talc of Cody talc I'm probably butchering half his names talc Muguet I don't know what that says but it says Cody and then it says New York and Paris but it's another beautiful tin with the lily of the valley on it the menin powder the Dr. Scholl's foot powder. This was, these sizes like this are sample tins. This was a deodorant powder. Sample tins are always the ones that were super hard to find and super expensive. We have some sample tins in our collection, but not too many of them because most of them we didn't want to pay for. Then you have this Bisodol and Acid tin, and that is really a cute tin. Then this Almonds or Almonds, I'm not sure which. Talcum powder, said for the baby. It cost 25 cents when it was bought, so you know it's been a long time, and look at the baby picture on it. Then there are several other baby powders. ZBT, that cost 37 cents price tag still on it when it was new so that tells you it was a long time ago and another cute ZBT then you have these wonderful Johnson's baby powder there's three of those so this is our haul for the day and we are thrilled to have gotten all this so reasonable and the talc tins and all the tins those were just really cheap so i hope you have a wonderful day enjoy every minute and i hope you have a good weekend and i hope i'll be able to come to you tomorrow with another yard sale haul if not in the next couple days i do need to come and do a yard sale haul and uh, some ray done that were gifts and things that people found. Plus, I do have quite a few pieces of Johanna Parker, too. So, till the next time, love and blessings from me and John and baby boy, who is inside taking him his morning nap. Bye-bye. <laughs>